Here's some tips and tricks for using your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. Let's take a look at your calculator's polynomial root finder and simultaneous equation solver app. That's a big name because it does a lot of things. Let's call it PolySimult for short. It's great for finding roots of polynomials. Before we solve this problem, let's take a look at the app. Start by opening the app menu by pressing the app's button. Select PolySimult2 and enter to open the app. Select Polynomial Root Finder in the menu and enter. Arrow to A plus BI and enter. This enables your handheld to calculate imaginary solutions when needed. Now, press graph. And back to our quadratic equation. Let's enter the coefficients into the template. 2, enter, plus, enter, 7, enter, plus, enter, 6, and enter. Press graph again to get your solution. Negative 3 halves and negative 2. Great! If you graph the equation, these are the x-intercepts, also known as the roots or zeros. Let's try another. 9x squared minus 25 equals 0. Press zoom to get back to the coefficients template. Enter your coefficients. Make sure to enter 0 for b and change the plus sign to minus. Press graph. Those are your x-intercepts. If you want the solution in decimal form, press graph again. That key toggles between fractions and decimals. So, the solutions are x equals 5 thirds and x equals negative 5 thirds. Let's do one more. Solve x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. Notice the solutions are complex numbers, and the coefficient of i is irrational. So, the solutions can't be converted to fractions. Fantastic! Now you know a simple way to find the roots of polynomials. The Tips and Tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. And be sure to check out the rest of the Tips and Tricks for Test Success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam!